I wanted to take a quick look at Trump Jr.'s uh, Instagram account. I've seen a couple of memes on uh, on Twitter that they've shared from his Instagram account. And I've got to say, like, my man is pushing a lot of boomer memes. I haven't, like, checked all of these. He does a lot of simping for Elon Musk, um, whatever. But let's see this one. A lie doesn't become truth. Wrong doesn't become e right. And evil doesn't become good just because it's accepted by a majority. He's saying this when his dad is Donald Trump. Dude, your dad broke the record for lies any president has ever told. And we've had presidents like George W. Bush and Richard Nixon. You can't share this when your dad is Donald Trump. I mean, <laughs> irony is dead and conservatives killed it. Um, and, and I love this meme right here. It shows how like basically every single liberal and lefty is just this brain dead NPC. We were against big pharma in 2012, but in 2022, we're all masking NPCs who are triple vaxxed with a QR code, I guess. Now we were also very anti-war, but all of a sudden we're pro-war. Okay, I, I guess that if you think that Russia invading a country that didn't attack it is bad, then you're pro-war, according to him. I'm sure he's definitely pro-war when his dad droned the fuck out of civilians in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia. But, you know, in 2012, the left were against corporate greed, and now all, all of a sudden we're NPCs who simp for these large corporations. Um, the reason why he had to make this into a meme was because there's no examples of this actually, right? What lefty actually simps for these dumb fuck corporations like Netflix and CNN? Like, the left was collectively ripping Netflix just a couple of months ago over the uh, Dave Chappelle special, right? Uh, we all shit on Disney all the time because they abuse and exploit their workers. So why can't you just provide us with the examples? They can't. So instead, they've got to come up with these boomer memes. Um, and, and really, I love how they make it seem as if, oh, well, lefties, they don't think for themselves. It's a sort of hive mind. I mean, you could replace this with fucking uh, crosses. Because we all know that the right loves crosses. With Fox News down here, you all simp for Fox News. You get, you know, all of your talking points and your whole ideology from Fox News. Like, you can replace any of this with some meme for conservatives. But, see, he posts this and then his boomer audience is like, oh, shit, you're crushing it. You're, you're really killing it right here. They're owned. But it just shows how uninformed and stupid you are. The entire ethos of the GOP it's to just trigger the libs. That's all that this is about. So he's not trying to post this because there's any truth in it. He's posting this because he thinks that we're going to be offended. But I'm not offended. Is anyone in chat offended by this? I'm not offended at all. I don't care about this. I just think that you look stupid. It makes you look like you're uninformed. So um, let's see here. This one. I mean, he's kind of saying the quiet part loud here. It's it's astonishing that he would post this. So um, book. Movie, video game, Netflix adaptation. So he's, I guess, mad that Netflix does more diversity. So, I mean, the question is, why would you be mad? Like, we're in a situation now where there are more black people in this country, more Hispanic people, more Asian people, more queer people. And so these companies, they aren't going to continue to make money off of us if they only appeal to white people. So, of course, as the country becomes more diverse you know, these corporations are going to adapt so they can make money off of us. Um, but I don't even know if this is true. Um, not sure if this is quantifiable. But even in posting this, like you're kind of telling on yourself, are you not? You're telling on yourself. You're saying, I think that diversity is bad. Why would you think that diversity is bad, Trump Jr.? Well, the only thing that I could logically deduce is that if someone thinks that diversity is bad, it's because they don't want to be around people who don't look like them. Perhaps it's because... They are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, racist. So he posts this thinking that like he's crushing it. And he just tells on himself. He says, I think that this is bad. I want everything to be just white people catering to me because I'm white. And I want to be able to see myself reflected in culture, in media. But I mean, the same thing is true for queer people or disabled people. I mean, we live in a capitalist society. So this is what happens, right? <laughs> I mean, capitalism is going to try to cast the broadest net possible, have the broadest appeal as they possibly can. And they're not going to have that in 2022 if they just 
have every single fucking you know um movie or tv show of of white people it's not like diversity in and of itself is a substitute for real legal social and cultural uh equality but it still is important you know to see uh someone like you on television is super important for a young queer kid to see themselves on netflix for a young black girl to see herself as a disney princess i think that that does matter it matters for confidence it matters to normalize diversity to normalize you know different types of people existing so uh you know for him to post this he's essentially telling on himself he's essentially saying uh yeah i don't like diversity because i don't want to be around black people that's what he's saying he'll deny it but it's true and you know he posts these memes about trying to trigger the libs aren't you triggered you seem pretty triggered by diversity i mean who gets triggered by this like understand how last year the whole narrative from the right was cancel culture, right? You know, I'm tired of these politically correct snowflakes being overly offended, being too hypersensitive. And now in 2022, they've done a complete 180. All of a sudden, um, cancel culture, good. What? Being offended is okay. You can share that you're offended by things like diversity. I mean, you're the snowflake, Trump. Like, what a dumb motherfucker everything happens for a reason sometimes the reason is you're stupid and make bad decisions i feel like all of these posts are just projection now i, I came across this video from his rumble because of course he has a rumble not getting a lot of engagement only 2900 rumbles which i'm assuming that's a like on rumble not the best engagement for being the former fail son uh, of a president or for a fail son of a former president i should say but um what in the world are they teaching our kids now notice how his mannerisms are completely the same as donald trump it's creepy it's like he's trying to mimic his father and adopt the same cadence and way of speaking as his father and it's so cringeworthy but you know because his father is popular at least in certain circles you know he thinks well maybe i could be loved and adored like my father but no nobody respects you you are unhinged you're a fail son uh, but let's let's go ahead and watch that florida don't say gay bill as it's been branded by the radical left and you know people who think it'd be totally appropriate to get as it's been branded that's what it is you can't say gay trans or anything so uh, i love this whole response from conservatives they're like they're calling it this don't say gay bill it proves that they haven't read the bill except if you read the bill it's evident that that moniker for the bill is absolutely apt because that's what the fuck it is so if you don't want it to be called don't say gay i don't know what to tell you we're not going to call it by what you want us to call it we're not going to go by your orwellian framing of this bill it's a don't say gay bill that's effectively what it is so cry me a river snowflake into very sexually explicit detail with toddlers and people in kindergarten and all of these things uh nobody wants to share explicit details with toddlers nobody wants to teach toddlers about sexual things right he's making this up He's making this up. This isn't an issue. The don't say gay bill is the GOP trying to find a solution for a problem that doesn't exist. The goal ultimately is to erase LGBTQ plus people from public life. That's what he wants to do. Um, so apparently he found this like really shocking TikTok. He probably found this from libs of TikTok, by the way. And apparently this is supposed to be like incredibly incriminating, but really just shows what a snowflake this guy is. Uh, you know, to the point where it's come to the conclusion, like I can't think of them as anything other than groomers but check out this video you can't think of people who are against don't say gay as anything other than groomers uh that's because you're small-minded and stupid like for me i feel like if my father was donald trump if my daddy's name was on epstein's flight logs i would never speak about this i would shut the fuck up about this because i mean if you care so much about this wouldn't you confront your own father about this about him preying on multiple women sexually harassing how many people like it, it's it's more than two dozen is it not so it's insane that he would talk about this as if everyone else is the groomers like his whole thing is like projection everything that he posts is all projection uh watch this video and we'll come back and talk about it but this is a teacher do you think that this person uh is teaching your kids something that they should need to know uh you know this is one video but just think how many videos there are that are out there like this. Imagine how many people that feel exactly the same way and maybe even more radicalized than this individual are actually out there, but are maybe smart enough 
to not video themselves. Hi, I'm a queer teacher. Again, projection. And I 1000% do not support this bill. And yes, I do know what's in it. The bill in itself is just another way to stigmatize the LGBTQ plus community. Kids as young as three and four are actually aware of their gender identity, even if they don't have the language for it. True. So very aware of who they like and who they don't like. True. Heterosexuality is pushed on our kids on a daily basis at a very young age. Media, through books, the first Disney movie that you saw. All of this is absolutely true. This is not controversial, but this is like his example of how incriminating uh, these LGBTQ plus teachers are. You know, it, 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 look at how bad this is. What in the world are they teaching our kids? This is all factually correct. It's factually correct. I probably knew I was gay by the age of like five. Like I remember a conversation with my mom where she said something to the effect of, oh, well, one day when you're old enough and you have a girlfriend, then you'll do X. Um, and I was like, I don't want a girlfriend. I want a boyfriend. I, don't, I never want a girlfriend. I, I like boys. And my mom was like, well, you can't have, you know, a, you can't have a, a boyfriend because you're a boy. Boys have girlfriends and girls have boyfriends. And, you know, I debated with my mom at five. I was a young debate bro back then. And I'm like, no, mom, I don't want a girlfriend. So I'm going to have a boyfriend, you know? So, I mean, I didn't know that I was gay back then. I couldn't tell you it's because I'm a homosexual, but I was just doing what came naturally to me. And a lot of trans people, they start to show, you know, express their own gender in their own way at a very young age, right? Not everyone is the same, but everything she's saying here is a thousand per, uh, percent correct. I should say everything that they're saying is a thousand percent correct because I'm not sure what their pronouns are, but there's, there's no lies here. To say that pre-K through third grade are not ready for such topics is actually internalized homophobia and transphobia. True. We're very much ready for these topics and are... And you can have age-appropriate conversations about these things. It's almost unavoidable, right? Because, like, if a kid says, hey, that picture of you and your spouse, is that your wife? But you're a girl. I mean, you could just say, well, yeah, you know, some, some women, uh, you know, have wives. You know, most women have husbands, but, you know, this is the way it is sometimes. Like, you can have age-appropriate conversations. It's not like we're expecting you to be like, okay, well, let me explain everything to you about the fundamentals of homosexuality. First, we'll talk about fisting. I mean, that's not, and that's not a fundamental of homosexuality, by the way, but I mean, like, that, that's what the conservatives want people to think is happening. But really, you can have age-appropriate conversations. You know, some people love, you know, people of the same gender. Some people, you know, don't have the same gender uh, as you, that they're ascribed at birth. Some people don't even have a gender at all. Some people are non-binary. So it, it's like, this is not controversial. Way more accepting than adults when it comes to discussing these topics. We can talk about gender, gender assumptions, pronouns, all the things. And it is child development appropriate and age appropriate. It's literally created as just another means to other queer people. Basically say that us existing is not normal. Okay, so... What about that was controversial? What about that was controversial? Is this not an instance of cancel culture? Is this not a, an instance of him being offended by what a teacher says and him trying to get them canceled? I feel like to, to actually watch that innocent thing that this teacher said and be offended by that, the only conclusion is you're offended by that because you think that gay people are icky and you don't want your kids to learn about the existence of gay people under any circumstances because you think gay people are icky and you don't want your kid to be gay. And you think that they could teach your kid to be gay. And you think that, you know, um, being gay or trans is such a cool thing that your kids will just become gay the second they hear about it. It's insane. It's insane. But let's see what he says. Why this is outrageous. We have to start giving our pre-K and K through 12 education dollars directly to parents because this Notice has to the be Trump a Trump hand gestures. We have to start giving, like, goddamn, dude. Have your own fucking persona. Have your own personality. You're adopting the style of a geriatric fucking 75-year-old man. ...product of the teachers' unions and the nonsense that they've been pushing. We need to give that money directly to parents so that they can choose where to send their kids to school. I'm blessed. So this is exactly what I was telling you all. This is him giving away the game. All of this hysteria, this parental rights and education was all a ploy to push for privatization. That's exactly what this was. You know, they're so easy to read, so fucking transparent. That's what the CRT thing was about. That's what the whole grooming don't say gay bullshit is about. They want you to not put your kids in public school. They want to get rid of public schools. In fact, we have a segment after this where... 
Fox News admits it. Yeah, we shouldn't have public education. It shouldn't be free. Yeah, they want school vouchers. Yeah. To be able to afford private school. A lot of people are blessed to be able to uh, homeschool. Maybe they have a parent that stays at home to do this. But we need to get rid of the public school monopoly that's out there. State legislators need to take control. State of legislators. What's going on, curriculums and end. I this. mean, imagine swagger jacking your own father. How embarrassing is that? Literally copying the mannerisms of your father. Is there a bigger fraud than that? Like, holy fucking shit. What a loser this guy is. Sort of nonsense. Okay. This is nothing more to me than an indoctrination camp. Until we do something about it. Indoctrination camp, unlike religion, which is bigly. Motherfucker, you guys are trying to brainwash kids out in the open. Like Ben Shapiro just announced some um, Daily Wire kids show program. So you want to indoctrinate kids. You want to shove religion down their fucking throats. But when anyone else indoctrinates them with just, you know, uh, by indoctrinate, we mean getting them to support gay and trans people and be respectful, you screech. You think that that's indoctrination. But yet you shove religion right down your kids' fucking throats, shamelessly so, and that's okay. No, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. It's not indoctrination to teach kids to not be bigoted pieces of shit like you and your father. That's not what indoctrination is. Indoctrination is what you all do. Give parents the ability to do something about it. It's over for our kids, for their future, for their education, okay? There is no need to get into this level of detail of sexuality with young kids. There's probably not a need to get into this level. What level of sexuality did they talk about? It's the same thing that is already being talked about with regard to heterosexuality. When you talk to a kid about their mommy and daddy... That's the same as talking to them about, you know, how some kids have mommy and mommies. Is it is it grooming if, you know, a mom and dad kiss in front of their kid? Do these dipshits honestly believe that? It's good. You're not sexualizing the kid. You're showing them that you have a healthy relationship. Um, but, you know, if gay people were to do that, that's definitely grooming. Uh, they're just so stupid. With much older kids who can actually understand it. Again, if you're so desperate that you're, you need to do this, you got to think there's a reason behind it. And honestly, the only reason I can think of is that you're literally trying to indoctrinate and groom these children. Who's hiring these people? Indoctrinate and groom these children by teaching kids that some people are different. The reason why people want to have these conversations is because kids are intelligent enough to understand that some people are different and diversity is something to be celebrated, Right. Teaching kids to be respectful of people who are marginalized or disadvantaged is not a bad thing. That's not indoctrination. That's just raising your kids to not be a dickhead like you. Do you think it's indoctrination or, or grooming to teach your kid that racism is bad? I don't want to know the answer from him because we already know how he feels about, um, about diversity. He thinks it's bad unironically. So, you know, who knows? He's reading from a script. Yeah, he can't even come up with his own fucking, uh, Shit, he's got to copy his dad when it comes to style. He's got to write all of this down because his coked out mind couldn't process what this teacher is saying. What a fucking moron. Uh, I guess at least they're easy to pick out and spot for the most part, but you never know. Uh, some may go under camouflage uh, and not have blue, green, purple hair. But this stuff is insane. This is not a lesson plan. But if you're this passionate about it, and you're putting it on videos, even if it's not in the lesson plan, you know there's a solid chance that they'll be teaching all these kids. Again, at least you could find them and see for yourself. But we need to do whatever we can to give parents the ability to pull their kids away from this nonsense. Okay? Let kids be kids. Oh, except for uh, trans kids in Texas. Right? They talk about parental rights. But in Texas, if you are supportive of your trans kid and you seek out gender-affirming care, they are going to treat you like a criminal in that state. And... You know, the uh, Child Protective Services might actually show up at your house. What about parental rights there? What about letting these kids be kids in that instance? You know, if your son wants to put on a dress, if you stop him and you call him an F slur, is that really letting your kid be a kid? I mean, it's not like they're trying to sit people down or sit these kids down and talk about sex with them. But if, you know, in the event some age-appropriate conversation is necessary I, I think that that's incumbent on educators to educate these students you know if they ask why does this kid have two mommies that's fine 
for this teacher to explain that, you know, some some uh, kids have mommies, some kids have two daddies, some kids have a mommy and a daddy. That's that's OK. My kids have their innocence. Don't jam this stuff down impressionable minds because, you know, let kids have their innocence, he says, but doesn't ever talk about his daddy on Epstein's flight logs. What did your dad do on Epstein's pedophile island, motherfucker? Are you friends with Matt Gates still? I mean, these people, I, I swear to God, uh, what do you think of Jim Jordan who covered up for a sexual abuser? I mean, these Republicans, every single thing that they say about the left or liberals, it's always projection. Always. Beta male, not a beta male.